Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This video is dedicated to my son's mid unknown. Sadly, they passed away and I basically made a video dedicated for them. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hey everyone, so as I just said in the beginning of the video, my sims had moved on to her afterlife, basically. Um, it is pretty bummed because the way how it ended wasn't how I really wanted it to end. Um, if y'all guys know my previous episode I did say like she was gonna live out her retirement life and just basically do things and chilled out but sadly um the save file basically just got like messed up in some way and when it happened I was just like I have to claim my sims basically dead I didn't want to do that I wanted to fix it and I tried to like search up ways of how to get the save file and stuff for the game back but like my sims is like basically permanently gone so all I have is just my videos that I'm glad that I at least got a chance to make and I'm glad that at least I got finished to the part where she's retirement. Basically, after that, you know, it's really not much after the life of retirement. Um, well, for her specifically. So, I'm glad that at least I got that, you know, out of the way. But other than that, you know, it was kind of bum, like a bummer feeling that I couldn't really do anything after that since the file is gone so basically if you don't know what that means like for the save file to be gone basically my whole sim is erased i don't have no way to be able to recover her um how it happened it was some like foolish things that i did and I don't really kind of want to get into it because it's, it was just kind of like foolish that I was not really thinking. And so when she finally, um, when it finally hit me and dawned to me that I just don't have my sims anymore, I was just like, wow. And I actually feel sorry for my sims because I wish that I could have at least finish out the rest of her days and let her, you know, visit I guess go and see the Grim Reaper <laughs> but of course that didn't happen so right now as you currently see me do is drawing my sim and paint tool side yes I do make artwork I know I have not post artwork in a while on my channel but um, yeah, I make artwork, so I thought that would be the greatest day to do is to kind of like draw her as like an angel or a Sims angel type of thing. And just her just relaxing and just chilling at a table or something. Something just basically as a, a good memory or ending for her. So, yeah. But overall, my experience with this uh, drawing, I enjoyed, even though I really wish I could have finished my Sims life, but I'm glad that at least can be able to do this for her. And on top of that, I'm also glad that I had the experience of being able to play Sims 3. Um, am I going to do another Sims 3? Maybe later on maybe later on in life, you know. I might, you know, do something different with my Sims if I ever, like, make another one or anything. But 
there's no promises because I do not know exactly what am I going to do in the future. But, um, yeah, but I, I did enjoy the moments that I had for my sims. Most likely it was some, you know, happy moments, some upsetting moments like the paparazzi and all that, um, the gossip and the little, uh, friend passed away if y'all guys remember on one of my episodes my neighbor had passed away just before i like well no after i saw them and it was sad it was a bombing move for that but yeah now i guess myself could join her in the afterlife as well so i mean i guess it's a good thing for her she can be able to hang with her at that time so yeah um Um, I'm trying to really think of things to say that was good about it. Uh, well, I can always talk about how this, um, I mean, how this idea kind of got started. So one day, uh, basically, if y'all guys don't know, probably y'all most don't know. I don't know if I had spoke about this on episode one, but I probably didn't. Um, on my Sims, when it came to me wanting to be able to do Sims thing, first I did a TikTok video of a face paint for me dealing with the Sims thing. Um, because I found my Sims game and I thought like, why not do a face paint and stuff? And so I thought that was a cool feature when I like got done with all the makeup and all. And I decided to take a picture and I think I put it on Instagram. But I was just like, hmm, I should actually do like a sim series of my sims, something like that. And then I got that dawned on me like I was going to make a sims uh, 3 experience because basically my sims 3 experience was very short. And I mean short as in like when I first got the game back when, I, when it first released. I was like a kid back then and I did not understand the value of the game. I just basically thought it would have been like way better than Sims 2, which it actually is. It is better than Sims 2, but I was thinking more so like, it's gonna have like more features and all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. Um, I didn't think past, I guess, what you would call a kid's mind. And so it only lasted me about a good couple of hours. And then next thing you know, foolish me decided to just throw it away. And I, <laughs> I wish I had not done that because when I finally visit the game, revisit the game back as an adult, um, I noticed that why people will say, sometimes will say Sims 4 um, doesn't have like the same features as Sims 3, which that is way true because there's one thing in Sims 3 that I like that they don't have in Sims 4 is that customization part where you could basically take Let's say, for, well, for example, say for us, if you like have a chair and you can like put thousands and thousands of patterns, no matter what, if you know how to upload the patterns from a little pattern customization thing, you can just put down a chair. And I like that feature. Like, I like that. It's just like, if you don't, if you're not bored, I mean, if you're bored with the same design, you can always change with the designs and just put some wacky designs or some cool designs or some stylish. Like, I like that. So, not being able to see this on Sims 4 is sad, and it's just like, wow. Um, but, of course, I didn't know this type of thing when I was a child because my mind did not think past that. My mind was thinking, like, make a Sims, there's going to be more things to the Sims. Where's all the stuff? I don't see the stuff. This game is not that fun. I'm not playing this again. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> But you can, you can't really be mad at the fact that I was just a kid. And probably most kids' minds are like that. Like they kind of expect that the things are just going to be given out to them, um, right on a silver platter because that's what kids feel like. You know, that's what kids think. So yeah, when I finally revisited the game, I was so excited to revisit. I was so excited to make my sim. I was so excited to like do a sim story. And I thought it was going to be fun. And it was fun. It was enjoyable. It was just like every time I made a Sims episode, I was just like, yes, cool. My Sims doing this. Yay. My Sims doing that. Yay. You know, um, I was just basically chilling. But 
it, it was just a fun experience to have. Uh, so yeah, but that's all it really has been, you know, for my experience with The Sims. It was just chill, it was happy, it was great. It was things that I learned that I wish I had learned when I first played it, but of course, as a child, you would not think that way. Um, and overall, you know, would I re recreate this series? Maybe in the future, again, no promises, I don't know. Well, I'll think about it first, and yeah. Also, I am definitely going to make this artwork into a print that I'm gonna put on my Society6. Yes, I have a Society6. No, it's not brand new. It's something that I had for a long time, but it been sitting around being dusty for a while. So basically, I have not really done anything to it since 2018. Um, I just finally start picking back up with my Zodiac uh, artwork on there. So I'm going to add like little, you know, merch of this uh, series. Well, this drawing that you see currently, I'm going to add little things for it. Just in case if y'all guys like this series and y'all want to post something in the memory of, you know, mid unknown <laughs> not me but mid unknown you know <laughs> so yeah i thought that would be cool to be able to do and overall you know i don't know what else to say really much other than you know whoopity do you <laughs> do but I actually enjoy also making this drawing as well. Uh, I actually really enjoy how I did the background when I finally get to that part. That that was just actually cool. I never really like test uh, how to like blend backgrounds and stuff like that. I'm actually trying to really do that more often. I actually the first time I actually tried that was like in my in my uh, little uh, Zodiac series thing where it has like. I think it's Zodiac Cancer. I think that's the one I tried. If you look on my Instagram, which is in my about section below, you will see like recently the pictures have been posted up uh, about my Zodiac series thing. Uh, for Cancer, I have like a girl sitting on a beach, and I have her back, the background looking like it's going like the sun going down. And so it wasn't like I guess perfect or anything like that. Which, of course, I would never think of my artwork as perfect because my artwork is going to always need some fixing no matter what. <laughs> it's just like in anybody's artwork, not just mine. But, um, yeah, uh, I, I'm glad that at least I tried and I'm having fun with doing that. So, now to be able to try it again on this picture is just great. But, yeah. But... Overall, you know, I hope you guys have enjoyed the Sims series if you have watched and thank you if you have watched it. I really appreciate it. Um, anything else? I really don't have much of anything else. Uh, shoot. I really don't have nothing else to really say. <laughs> but yeah, um, very sorry. <laughs> But uh, let's just just keep this as a happy memory. Nothing sad. Don't don't cry or anything like that. It's 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 just a sim. It's just a game. I just wanted to kind of end it properly at least. But yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, no, I don't have nothing else to really say. That's my last time ever saying it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna let some music play. Um, I hope you guys. Uh, have fun playing the sims if you play the sims uh you can let me know down in the comments below if you play the sims one two three four five six whatever <laughs> whatever the ones that come out in the future you can always talk about the future ones in this past video if it's coming out or anything like that like you can just you can just either revisit or talk about the future whatever it is for the sims uh keep it positive down there you know like good comments or and stuff um if you always also want to leave like you know good memories about or talk about funny memories about the sim the sim series and you can always leave those 
um yeah <laughs> but um yeah also uh stay safe as well since you know uh time is short and life is fragile so yeah stay safe out there especially through this time since a lot of things are changing and things are happening um yeah just keep that in mind you know but all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and go thank you guys for watching thank you guys for watching the sims uh three series merch it should be already up there on society six if you want to check it out it's in the description below and yeah all right guys bye